Oh, so look at this. We've got this really cool thing. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this. It's called Unreal Engine. Um, looks pretty cool. I've never heard of it. I'm gonna check it out. Now, obviously I'm being sarcastic, guys. Um, I did download Unreal today and I'm gonna start learning it. Now, before a lot of you who use Unity freak out, I am still going to be using Unity for our current game, Twisted Tower. And hey, we might use Unity in the future. I mean, frankly, everything's up in the air. Um, it's been kind of a hell week in terms of just game development. And I wanted to just wait and be patient before posting anything because frankly, guys, well, I'll be honest with you. When the Unity news dropped, I got a million text messages and everyone was asking me, what do you think about Unity dying? It's Unity's funeral, blah, blah, blah. And it was like this big chaos, uh, a ton of uh, attention. And that kind of stuff kind of annoys me on social media when something becomes chaotic and news stories get blown out of proportion. So I first thought, this is ridiculous. Everyone needs to calm down. But then I actually looked at the pricing structure. So in this video, I wanna talk about the pricing structure or the news announcement, <clears throat> a couple of leaks that have come out about Unity um, and how they're probably gonna walk all this back. But why I think that the wise decision, I just wanna be completely honest with you guys. I think the wisest decision for those of you who are using Unity, and I'm, I'm using it as well, I think the wisest decision is to at least start learning Unreal, okay? Um, and I hate saying this because I, I, I'll be honest, I have friends in at Unity and Unity has been nice to me in the past, but I don't care. I mean, if you're gonna do a stupid uh, pricing structure, I'm gonna talk about your stupid pricing structure. And even if you walk it back, you're still gonna have to hear about the stupid pricing structure from Thomas Brush. Okay, so <laughs> um, let's talk about the stupid pricing structure really quick. Okay, so nobody cares that Unity is gonna charge us to use their engine. Nobody cares. Um, and in fact, I thought that that's why people were frustrated and I thought, well, y'all need to just pay your fair share, pay the piper, we're all grown ups here, let's pay our fair share. But then I looked at the pricing structure. Now the structure here is not necessarily the problem, it's actually how it's tracked that's the problem. So you can see here that if your revenue threshold is over $200,000 USD and your install threshold is over 200,000, then you're going to start owing 20 cents per install, okay? Now if you have Unity Pro, things are a little bit different, right? Over a million dollars, over a million copies, then you start owing um, per install. And Unity Enterprise, same sort of thing, right? It slowly becomes less expensive for the studios. So this actually, when you look at it, it's like, well, I, I might be okay. For example, if I pay for Unity Pro, it's a couple grand. I own a business, so I'm okay with spending $2,000 for my primary software that I'm making games with. Um, that doesn't bother me. And if I'm over a million dollars and over a million units, I mean, I probably won't even do that, let's be honest. So, okay, no big deal, right? I could just pay, you know, 15 cents per install, right? Now, the problem is, I'm looking at this chart and even still my brain is having trouble f f figuring out what the, <laughs> what this is. Okay, so you have to hit your threshold and then new installs per month is 100, one to 100,000, okay. So you go, it's so freaking confusing. That, that off the bat is, it's already confusing. But if you're, uh, let's say I'm over a million, then I do 100,000, one to 100,000 installs for the next month, I owe 15 cents. And it goes down the more installs there are, okay? Whatever, Unity, that's confusing enough. But here's the problem, okay? I know what a lot of you are thinking who are like, sort of have rose-colored glasses about this. You're thinking, well, I'll never get there. Well, we'll talk about that. But here's the big problem. How do they know how many installs you have? That's the ultimate question. How do they know how many installs you have? Well, they're putting an algorithm, some kind of, I mean, it feels like malware, putting it into the, your build of your game, you upload it to Steam, and then that data is tracked and sent back to Unity. So basically Big Brother is gonna figure out how many installs you have, not you. So you're not gonna self-report your data, so it's different than Unreal. Unreal is self-reported data, 5% of the revenue goes to Unreal, based on self-reported data from developers. 
over a million units or over a million dollars, okay? This is different. Unity is actually the one tracking the data. That's the big problem. In fact, I've confirmed this, okay? What's the real reason you're upset about Unity? I wanted to get an idea from you guys about why you guys are upset because I knew why I was upset. Okay, once I looked into the tracking data and you could see here, the problem is 54% of you guys say you don't trust their install numbers. Okay, that's the big issue. You can see from Treefall, I think it's mostly about the CEO, the leadership of the company and pulling the rug out from under developers. The changing of terms of service and hiding that one overnight. No one can trust them at all anymore. They can just do something worse down the road. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. That's the, the, there's a leak that came out that says they're actually not going to be using their own algorithm. And instead, we're actually just going to self-report. But the problem is we can't trust that that's gonna stay true. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, but here's a, a wonderful statement from J-Pops. Not a developer, but this stuff aside, you need to consider the look that Unity will now be loaded with malware to track installs. Consumers will likely not take kindly to that and avoid games made in Unity. So again, the tracking of installs is really, really the problem here, okay? I don't use Unity and I never have. I'm still upset about it though. So someone who valued its space in the industry, especially among indie devs. As upsetting as the model is, what upsets me more is the shadiness about it. And again, it has to do with this sort of opaque algorithm. Okay, if it was just send us your gross revenue numbers, send us your send us how much money your games have, has made, and then you pay a five percent fee. That's you know people would probably still be upset about it, but I don't think they would be as upset as let's say Dream Chaser here who says that look it's shady. This whole thing is shady, and that's why platforms like Godot um, and even Unreal, but Godot is. I mean, it's really growing in popularity right now because it's open source, right? Unity is the opposite of Godot, okay? Now again, I'm still gonna use Unity for Twisted Tower um, because we've invested over six figures in this game. We have a team size of three. Um, frankly, the, 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 the software itself and the, the people I've met at Unity are fine. It has to do with the shadiness of number one, this weird algorithm that determines the installs, and number two, the leadership. Now, I really want to, really quickly, I want to clarify why the shadiness is scary, okay? If, or most, most of you are probably thinking, well, I will never hit a million installs. Maybe you will. So there's, there's a couple, there's three different business models that get destroyed by this, um, this weird shady algorithm. Number one, your business model for a $15 game. If, you, if most of you, I think, are probably gonna sell like a $15 to $20 game when you release a game, you're screwed because piracy, that's just the way things are. Your game is going to get pirated. Unity says that, and we'll, we'll talk about their tweet in a second, Unity says that piracy is not gonna be an issue, that they will ignore piracy. I don't know how, but we'll talk about that. Number two, um, Game Pass and Humble Bundle and, and um, uh, PlayStation uh, Plus, how exactly do they determine millions of copies being sold for free on a subscription service like Game Pass? How do they know that? They say they're not gonna track that data and charge for it, and they say they're gonna put that burden on Microsoft. No, they won't. Micro well, they, they say they're gonna do that, but Microsoft is in the end going to put the burden on the developers in the form of lower or smaller payments. Right, um, an advance is given, uh, a development fee or a license is given from Microsoft or Sony to developers to participate in Game Pass. Those fees are gonna go down because now they're gonna, especially for Unity developers, because of that install fee, okay? So it's going to be passed down to the developers, okay? The third person who's gonna get hurt, and this is the biggest one, is the person who makes a mobile game for a dollar, okay? Those individuals, can easily sell a million copies or 200,000 copies. And they're not charged on 5% of, of, of their, let's say, dollar game. It's 20% because of that 20 cent per install. So that is what's sinister about this. They're destroying the mobile market, okay? Now let's talk about Unity's tweet 
clarifying a lot of this, okay? I'm not gonna go through this whole tweet, but basically they just said, look, we, we understand the confusion and frustration, and they say this. In fact, more than 90% of our customers will not be affected by this change, okay? This is true in the sense that, yes, 90% of our customers are not gonna hit this threshold. But number one, this is kind of a slap in the face saying, most of our developers will never get there. They'll never make enough money. <laughs> but number two, how many of you right now are not in the 10% of game developers actually making a good living from their games, but one day you want to be, right? It's, it's like uh, investing in the stock market. I would not invest my time and my money in the stock market if I didn't think it was gonna pay off in the long run. 90% of these game developers, these customers that they're talking about, these customers are going, uh, they're going in full force picking a software like Unity because they trust that in two years it'll be a viable option for them to make a lot of money. They're dreamers, right? We're all dreaming big. What if I told you that if you run a marathon, at the end of the marathon, there's a black hole for you to fall into and you have no idea what it is? That, that is what these 90% of uh, customers are thinking. They're thinking, I, I'm gonna learn Unity, I'm gonna master it, I'm gonna release a great game, and then at the end of the finish line, when I launch my game, I am going to make a million dollars. But I have no idea what Unity is gonna do. I have no idea how they're gonna track my data, how much I'm gonna owe them. And if my game is pirated to hell, I'm still not gonna know what to do, or I'm, I'm not gonna know uh, how many installs that is, and Unity's gonna tell me how many installs that is. And finally, nobody knows if they're actually going to change it, right? Are they gonna change this continually? Frankly, ugh, it sucks because I, I, there's so many people at Unity I love, but the trust has been broken. And so when I see a leak like this, okay, when I see a leak that says Unity's policies, they're, they're gonna backpedal, okay? It says, Unity has briefed staff on changes to its runtime policy intended for announcement in the coming days. According to Bloomberg, Unity is expected to limit install fees to 4% of the game's revenue for customers making over a million dollars. Oh wow, better than Unreal. Further, Bloomberg understands the installations counting towards that threshold will not be added retroacti retroactively. That's good. And then also, it's based on self-reported data. And I'm not sure where that is in the article, but I did read that yesterday. It's based on self-reported data. These are all really good things, right guys? Except for the fact that the credibility has been lost. So how long, that, that's the big question. How long is this gonna last, right? How long is Unity going to keep this, it's better than, it's frankly, it's better than Unreal, or at least on the surface. But how long is that gonna last, right? We have no idea. So if, if trust is broken, it's like if the stock market, <laughs> if the stock market was a company, and they were like, one day they randomly said, by the way, we're gonna charge you 15 cents on every, on your net gain per dollar, blah, 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 or whatever. You'd be like, wait, what? I had no idea you could do this, and now, I can't trust the stock market at all, you would see everybody pulling their money out of the stock market immediately. Because they, a faith, faith in a software or a system is what holds the whole thing together. And I, I'm, I'm just, I'm so shocked they did this. It, it makes, it doesn't even make sense from a profitability perspective, because everyone's saying like Unity's all about the money. You would think that they wouldn't do this if they were about the money because they acquired all these customers over the last decade or more, and now they're just completely losing faith with those customers. So that's why we see this, guys. What's crazy here about this poll that I posted is the majority of my audience is, is Unity developers. I mean, if you're a Unity developer, let me know in the chat uh, or, or the comments below if you're a Unity developer. Look at this. What engine are you going to be using in 2024? Almost 7,000 votes, overwhelmingly unreal, 42%. It's scary. Uh, Unity is at 22%. How do they recover from this? I don't think they do. Um, now, if you're making a Unity game, my advice to you is this. Make the game, get it done. If you're, if you're deep in the weeds with your game in Unity, finish your game. Because frankly, I don't think Unity is going to change their pricing structure for maybe the next year. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Because I, I, I feel like they, it would just be suicide. Um, so I think they're gonna stay put on this 4%, um, which is fine. Uh, 
but I would not count on that for the long term. And so I'm not saying Unreal is the future. I'm not saying I'm gonna use Unreal in the future. I am telling you right now, I'm gonna click this button right here, that big old download button, and I'm gonna start learning it right now, okay? Because number one, I, I'm a YouTuber and I'm a teacher and a game developer, and it's important for me to be on top of this stuff. But number two, for you guys, um, you gotta learn the tools. You gotta learn the tools that, um, and you gotta sort of just go with the punches, right? Um, it's tough, it's not fun. This has been a weird week. I love you guys. Cheers.